So, Nikki, I don't know your source for this, but there's a much greater overarching theme that needs to be addressed in this comment. So, first off, the fluke I assume that you're talking about is this urethrema pancreaticum. This is the uh, pancreatic flukes that a lot of people in the parasite crowd, you know, the, the woman who promotes Parify, uh, Holda Clark, talked a lot about it as well with the idea being that people have too many flukes in their body and it's you know consuming insulin, blocking the ducts and the release of insulin. There was a craze on the internet about a year and a half ago that ultimately petered out. Because I would argue, and it's in the wording of your question, because you stated that a specific parasite residing in the pancreas is the cause of insulin resistance implying that there is only one. And what I think everyone with diabetes, who knows someone about diabetes, needs to understand is that there is not a singular cause. There is not a singular thing that causes diabetes, like pressing a button, like boop, now you have it. Diabetes is a symptom. It is a symptom of several different factors. Might the presence of parasites within the gut be one of those things? Absolutely possible. Might there already be pre-existing conditions within the body, within the liver, the pancreas, the gut, that allows for these parasites to thrive? Absolutely. So while there are plenty of cases to reference where someone managed their parasite load and experienced improvements in their insulin resistance, I would be much more mindful of all the people who bought into the Parify, into the cell core, and you know, the black walnut, clove, wormwood things that didn't. And as a word of caution to everyone hearing about how significant these parasites are, See them as one piece of the puzzle, not the puzzle themselves. We need to be mindful of our food intake from both a cleanliness standpoint as well as a nutrition standpoint to ensure that we are creating a bodily environment that either eliminates excess parasites or and self-regulates the existing parasites within our body. I do not believe that humans are meant to really exist with zero parasites. I see them as just something that exists within the body the same way that bacteria and our microbiome does. And if you're someone who is participating in these parasite cleanses with the idea that, oh my God, if you just do one more, then the diabetes and the insulin resistance will be gone, you're, you're, you're not doing quite the right thing. You've taken care of one brick, but there's more to stack. Look to food quality, look to specific vitamins, minerals, herbal compounds that address other systemic sources of inflammation and help rebuild tissue and rebuild these hormone signaling pathways, what have you. And exercise with extreme discernment all of the people going around telling you that this one thing is going to be the answer. Because if diabetes is operating the way that I've observed it to, it's not just going to be one thing. It's going to be a stack of several things to put your body in a better position to heal itself.